Sheeran. I'm here with my good friends Vin and Lisa. Hello. And actually, Lisa was the inspiration behind that buffalo chicken dip show that we did a couple of weeks ago. Thank you, Lisa. That was so good. Everybody oh loved that. Everyone loves it. I know. Um, and today is very special because Vinny's going to share with us his grandfather's secret pasta recipe. And then I'm going to have to kill you. And then he's going to have to kill us. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After we eat, of course, can we have we'll a meal first? first? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, have you been making this recipe for years and years? Years and years. Yeah, right? From Since when you I was were a little? Kid. Yep. Oh, that's wonderful. So, yeah. So it was passed on from your grandfather to your dad and to you. Yeah. That's really, really nice. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time today. Yeah, it's gonna be great. And then we even have friends showing up in a little while, Kristen and Gordon. Yeah. And they're gonna join in on the festivities and we're gonna have a pasta party. Sure I can't are. wait. So why don't you show us what we're gonna need to start this pasta? Okay. So Van, you're gonna show us how you make your awesome pasta? Sure. Let's do it. Two cups of flour. So you had two cups of flour, okay. Now, did you always measure or sometimes no, it's go by eye, right? Usually by eye. That's it's the probably, old actually, way. Actually, probably a little more than two cups. We'll just dump whatever's in there. Okay. So, so that's like probably two three, and a half. Two maybe? and a half cups, yeah. Sounds good. Okay. okay. Nice. We'll lock that thing down with some salt. Okay. And it's just a, you know, just a pinch. It's like about a quarter teaspoon or so. Okay. Um, I usually measure this just because it's about a quarter cup of olive oil. Okay. And that helps to make it pliable, right? Yeah, it makes it like when, after you mix it for a while, it makes it really smooth. Yeah. It's nice. So we'll get that thing cooking. Okay. So we'll get this thing started a little bit after the olive oil. Put about a tablespoon of water. Okay. And then start with some eggs and it depends I mean it might be four we might put four we might put five okay we'll see how it goes and you just you add the eggs and you wait to feel the texture or look at the texture of it That's yeah how you so about I, the I eggs, usually right? use, yep I usually use this this little uh, whatever you call it to get the flour down in there so you can see what's happening so now there's only a couple of eggs in there so it's definitely gonna need more so. And this is all good because that's kneading it, that you have your kneading attachment yep. on there. Ooh, look out. <laughs> <laughs> One egg for the dog. One egg for the dog. <laughs> Dogs do come in handy. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we'll let that mix for a little while and see what happens. So you turn it up a little bit to get it going, yeah, right? on four now. OK. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some pasta. <laughs> Like you tell him, Izzy. <laughs> All right, so I'll take this off of here. It gets stuck. It's building those glutens, man. It sure is. So you're going to run it a little bit more. Yeah. And this is where you have to start to eyeball it, where I, it looks like it might be a little sticky. Okay. You'll see, I might have so to add, add a little, little more flour. flour if it's too sticky. Okay. Uh, if it's too dry, I'll add a little bit of water, just okay. a tiny bit. Yeah. So. Okay, Looks beautiful. Stop the, the machine paddle. for a Stopping little bit. Stop the machine, okay. Yep. And let's uh, let's see what we have here. That looks so pretty. That does look pretty good. Everybody should really try making pasta at least once in their yeah, life. It's a lot of fun. It's so much fun. And I think it's, it's so very much therapeutic. Better. Yeah. And now I'll knead it for a little while over here just to just to get it smooth. The best. The best thing you can do is if you can get the texture of it to be really smooth on the outside after you knead it for a while. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Now, so you're not putting any flour down on the counter there, so you don't need any extra flour. Yeah, I might. If it starts sticking on here, yeah. I will, but. But right look at now, the texture of that. Okay. It doesn't stick at all. That's beautiful. Yeah, it seems to be okay. So that's not bad. I'm getting somewhere. So, how many years have you been making this pasta, Ben? Oh my gosh. How well, many, right? Be, you don't want to date yourself gotta be now, 30. do you? <laughs> my grandfather used to make it on Sundays, so. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. That's a nice get together. It was great, yeah. So, um, that looks good. So you need to let it sit for yep. a good half hour, right? Yep, I'll let it sit for a half hour so it 
it just gets a little easier to work with. Yeah, and the flour absorbs all those liquids, the eggs and the olive oil. You enslave me as your sous chef. That's right. um, you're gonna let it dry out, right? Yep, we'll have it all over the counters here. Oh, I love that. That's how my uh, Pasqualina used to make all of our pasta. Really? Yeah, it was yeah, so fun going to your house. My grandfather used to have it hanging from the um, cabinets. He would open the cabinets and hang it over the cabinet. So really? Put so, me to work. So here's the dough, okay? So the can, first I, can I smell that dough? Please do. You're gonna have me doing this now every time I make pasta. He goes, smell the dough. It and it nice. smells amazing, right? It smells so good. Oh, I love that. Yeah, let me try. It's almost nostalgic, right? That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm gonna cut the dough, right? <laughs> Okay. So I usually cut it in, in just like little pieces like this. Okay. Just so you could work with it, right? Yeah, because it, it's kind of a pain to, if you don't. Yeah. So I'll show you. We'll cut it like this. And then we have all our little sections. And I'll just kind of put them up here. No, I'm not anal. <laughs> well, the true cool iron. I have to remember that. The true yeah. cool iron. I don't know where that came from, really. but That's okay. That's what they call it. It's pretty awesome. It is awesome. So we get our dough ready, let's get some flour on there so it doesn't stick to the truckle iron. You don't want it to stick to the truckle iron. Can't stick to the freaking truckle iron. Serious consequences, That's Vin, if it sticks time. to the truckle iron. <laughs> truckles. Hey, Michelle, when you're making the truckles, whatever you talk about when you're making the truckles, it stays between you and the truckles. Oh, I like that. You know that. what I mean? Yeah. You don't talk about it with nobody else, but nobody. Okay. Just you and the truckles. Is that kind of like what happens in Vegas stays in it's Vegas? The same thing. <laughs> same concept. It's the same thing. Okay. You talk about over the truckles stays with the truckles. With the truckles. Or, or <laughs> the cement shoes go down with the truckles. That's it. Then you're done. You just kind of start to work with it. Okay. And get it so. Uh, and then we're going to roll it out? Yep. Is that what the goal is here, right? Yep. yep. The goal is to get it. But you see the problem is, you see this is only that wide. Okay. This iron here, this, my grandfather used to call it the truckle iron. The truckle. It's only this wide. So oh we have to make goodness. sure when we, when we roll it out, it's, it's only as wide that. as that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that thing, right? It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And that was your grandfather's? It was. Wow. Yep. They're just not made like that today. No, no, you can't find them and like in that. In fact, is that wood one? That's this a newer a new one, one, right? Yeah. See the problem with the wood though? It gets these things get chipped. Yeah. So wow. that's why the metal one's nice. Oh, I can't wait to use that one. All right, so well, I'm gonna help you roll these it's out. It's a little tricky. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Take right. that. Take that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not on my nice new apron. Come on. <laughs> you gotta look like you're doing some work here, man. <laughs> nice. All right. Everybody's got their own way of doing pasta. Everybody's got their own little system. And that's what makes it so much fun, right? Yeah, absolutely. Learning everybody's styles. So, we have some issues here. And look how it, it springs back. Yeah. Really getting those glutens going. I love that. Oh, look how it's cutting the pasta. Oh, yeah. my goodness, that's gorgeous. So you don't want it any thinner than that. And actually, you know yeah. what? That thins it out as you're rolling it. It does, yep. Yeah. Look so, at that. And you have to really push down on it. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to give you a close up of that because that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And then, <gasps> Look um, at and that. And then so the, the key when you hold them, oh. I was taught when I was younger, is you, you pull from the middle. The true cool line. It's time, <laughs> the moment of truth. So you have to start it out and get it gets a little stuck, so you, you help it out there. The extra flour really keeps it from not... It does. The flour helps. And then the pressure. Look how it pulls it right out there. That is yep. just a wonderful tool. Yep. That's so exciting. And then you just... You're ready to go. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so you're lining them up, and that's how we're going to start letting them dry? Yep, so we'll let them dry like this. Hi, Bella and Ella. <laughs> What? We're not here. Okay. Oh, not we here. see you. <laughs> Wait till you see this beautiful pasta, Bella. It is really nice, and you're going to be having it tonight for dinner. It's going to be awesome. Looks gorgeous. So, do you want it proportionate, uh, kind of? You need to or... your own devices, Michelle. You do what you got to do. Okay. <laughs> you're a pro. All right. 
That oh. looks pretty. That does look now can I use this? You can try. I'm so excited. <laughs> No, you're gonna want. You're definitely gonna want some flour on there. Otherwise, it's gonna to stick to that. Okay, so put flour down first. Yeah. On here. Oh, on the pasta. Okay. Yeah. Flip it over. Do the same thing. Yep. Beautiful. Be shy of the flour. Okay. So you, know when you start. Press, give it get some on pressure. It. Yeah, get on it. Get on it. Okay. Yeah, you need, there you go. I, I guess I don't want to re-roll because then I'll have a lot you of... You can't re-roll. You can't re-roll. All right, so... But how yeah. do I get it to come off the back of my... Go, go where you were. Oh, look at that. <gasps> That's beautiful. So, it's good. so you got to give it a little... Yeah. And then don't come back, though. Just keep going forward. Don't come forward. back, you have to okay. really push down, otherwise you're going to have this some issues. This is really amazing. Bella, look at this. I love how it just keeps pulling out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Cool. That's a beautiful. That's yeah, a beautiful. Right. That's starting to talk like I'm supposed to. Oh, that's a nice. And then you pull. How come yeah, mine are stuck? You have, you're having issues. I'm having issues. <laughs> pull it apart like this. Oh! There you look go. at that. There All right. Go. And I toss it like you did? You can toss it, yeah. Bella, hi, Bella. <laughs> I'm not here. Where's Ella? And Ella, are you going to get in here? Look, this is amazing. Absolutely on, beautiful. Yeah, so I'll uh, I'll line it up for you. Okay. This is what Ella usually does, but she's being shy. I really love how your grandfather used to hang them over the cabinets. Yeah, it was cool. That's You'd really come creative. In on a Sunday, and he had it hanging all over the cabinets. Is that nice? I love that. Yeah, it was great. Hey, I did a pretty good job you here. Did. I'll tell you what, not bad. I'm for impressed. Sure. Not bad. <laughs> Hi Bella, look at the pasta. You're going to be having this Hello. pasta tonight. Ella, look. You've seen your dad do this before, huh? I've done that. Wait, You've done this before? I'm just not strong enough to do it. That looks really beautiful. Look yeah, at yeah. all this pasta. We have enough. Oh, it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And then Kristen and Gordon are going to get here, and we're going to have a pasta party. Yeah, we are. So, Lisa, here's your amazing buffalo chicken dip. I'm so glad you made this for tonight. It's so And I'm happy. having your amazing cheese. Thing so, that you Kristen is here. Hey, Kristen. Come on in. Yay. Now the party can really start. How are you? <laughs> I love you, Poncho. Thank you. No, we have a one here. She went to her house. Come in. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Hey there. I tied the bow myself. Oh, my goodness. Did that take you a long time? <laughs> Welcome to the pasta party. Uh, it smells awesome. Now. Okay. Oh, look at you just gathering up That's like it. that. And then you're going to carry him to the water. Right to there the water. he goes. Look at, you just scattered him up like that. Like a dealer in Vegas. Right? <laughs> oh my god, he's like a dealer in Vegas with pasta! Oh yeah. Go no ahead. more bats. <laughs> How do you it's not you like Great that. job, <laughs> man! <laughs> Look how beautiful! That's it. Yeah. Well, they just did this wrong. We have a gas yeah, yeah, place, this is we hear like a real crackling. That looks like the Lucille Ball. You know, the giant noodle that she always did in her shows. That's some varsity, yeah. uh, varsity pasta. True. Varsity pasta. I like that, Gordon. Varsity pasta. Right. Oh, Happening. my goodness. Those are amazing. And they're fat free. And they're All fat, fat free. free. Grass fed, though. Grass fed. At least they're, they're grass fed meatballs. <laughs> meatballs, this exact same way. I used to fry them in the pan. Yeah. And then. And then you just oh. eat them as they come yeah. out, right? They didn't even make it to the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I just asked. Yeah, they just put the, the meatballs in the sauce. Yeah. That's how my mom made them. Meatball. Although I find myself baking them more often now yeah, just because it saves a lot of time. Yeah, I, I think it's healthier. I don't know. Yeah. Probably doesn't really make a difference. It's easier, that's for sure. <laughs> sit here Is that a meatball tray? That's just like a, a special meatball a tray. tray. It's a stoneware, right? It's like a cupcake? It's a special stoneware. Oh, okay. It's stoneware, yeah. All right, Michelle, what do you think? You think you're done? I think they're ready, Ben. All right, let's do it. Straighter, Cam. 
Um, oh boy, look at that. That looks so fantastic. Those are gorgeous. They are nice. What did you call them, Gordon? Yeah. Well, I said that's the strainer can. No, the noodles. You called them something. Oh, varsity. Varsity. Varsity that's noodles. That's junior varsity. That's varsity. <laughs> that's varsity. I love that. That's not to wear in a letter. Oh, yeah. Is that dog out there? Oh, yeah. I forgot. So we'll keep some without the sauce? Yeah, we'll keep some out for Riley. Thank you. What are you doing there, Lisa? Right? Yeah, because you're always eating oh, in restaurants. This is my big right? job. Putting that so, gorgeous sauce in that. Yeah. Little vase there. Yeah. That's a great idea. Let's pour it over putting the it on meatballs. the table because you can never have enough sauce, right? No, yeah, never have enough sauce or cheese. Yeah, I like how that is in a little pitcher. It's well, really we love to throw sauce. That looks in. really pretty. Yeah. Bring so you're taking that to the table. I think it's oh, time. Oh, and the meatballs. And the meatballs. Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> oh, that looks beautiful. I love the bowl. Isn't that bowl pretty? Well, everything looks so pretty in here. Lisa, you did such a great job. Really beautiful. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna come in and we have our zucchini spaghetti there, our sauce, the noodles that Vinny and I just made, the meatballs, and our broccoli rob and a beautiful salad. Hi Riley, you coming on in? Everything looks fantastic. What a pretty um, table. I'm gonna have to sit, the kids are gonna sit down this Lisa, way. you did such a wonderful job with this table. It looks gorgeous. And uh, if you want a drink or something, they're right here. Hi, Hello. Bella. Hi, Ella. Good. Drinks right here. Oh, I already have my drink. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 Well, thank you for watching. You can find these recipes at thetravelingepicurean.com. Thank you, Vin, for all your hard work. You're welcome. Good job, Vin. Buon appetito. Ciao. Ciao.